Okay, the graph y equals to half x plus 3. We need to find two points in the graph, the y-intercept and the slope. So step 1, find the y-intercept. We also know that the y-intercept lies on the y-axis somewhere, so that means x equals to 0. So if we know x equals to 0, we can substitute x equals 0 into our equation to find the y-intercept. So at x equals to 0, we have y equals to half times 0 plus 3. So that would be half times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3. So our y-intercept is at 0, 3. So on the graph, it would be here, 0 on the x and 3 on the y-axis. Our second point will be found by finding the slope of the graph. And to find the slope, we look at the number in front of the x. The technical term for this is the coefficient. The coefficient of x is half, so therefore our slope is half. Remember, slope equals to rise and run. In this case, it's the coefficient in front of x, so half. What this means is that for every single one unit you go horizontal, you go up one half. So if you go up, you go one horizontal, you go up half. One horizontal, you go up half. So our next point would be here and here. So now we have two points on our graph, or three points rather, we can connect our points to find the slope of, to find the line y equals half x plus 3. Uh, one more thing to note about this line is that it extends further than this, but given the boundaries of our graph right now, it only appears to show when x equals to 6 and y equals to 6, but in reality it extends uh, indefinitely in both directions.